Hey, this is Swarup Ajay. Welcome to Linux Commands in 11 minutes. So I have installed Ubuntu 12.10 in virtual machine. Let's get on with it. So we need the command line interface or the terminal. Click the dash home. Type tr. You get the terminal or you can use the shortcut control alt and t. There is something written in the terminal. The first one is the username, which is Swaro. At the rate, the second one is the host name or the machine name. Mine one is Jarvis. So I have listed some of the commands in Notepad so that we can move quickly. So for printing the working directory or the the directory which are which we are currently working, type pwd. So we are in the Swaro directory inside home directory. So for listing the files inside Swarov directory, type ls. So the blue ones are the folders and the white ones are the files. For getting the details about these folders and files, type ls minus l. So you get these details. The rows starting with d are the directories and the rows starting with minus are the files. After this, these are the permission the owner name the group name etc you can always clear the your terminal using clear command okay so if you want to uh, get those the hidden files just type ls minus a the hidden files are called shadow file in file in linux and these are the dot files you don't want to mess with these files and if you want to get the hidden files with details and all those files you know just type ls minus la you get all those files regular files and the hidden files with details okay so let's clear the screen right now we are in the sorup directory and if we move forward in gui based system we have the luxury of using mouse to navigate but here we will use the command line Many people ask why a command line interface instead of a GUI. Linux has also a GUI, but while you are a system admin or you are using, you are working with servers, so see, uh, command line interface is your best option. Okay, so let's list the folders and files inside Swaro. So if I want, uh, if I want to go inside uh, the desktop, what I do is. I'll nav navigate inside desktop. Use cd command cd. Then you don't need to type the full name. Just uh, press tab. It will give the options. Okay. Now we are in desktop. And if you want to na navigate backward, just type cd dot dot. Okay. Now we are in. So let's go again to desktop. So we will do some more things okay so these are all listing the files and navigating through the directory and if you uh, now we don't have anything in the desktop if you want to create a directory or a folder type mkdir for make directory and the directory name let me type Swarup. okay right now we have a Swarup directory inside the desktop if I want to create another, let me create another directory. You can always get the previous commands using up, sim, up arrow. Um, so right now we have two folder, uh, two directory, Ava and Swaro. Okay. So how to remove a directory? This command is simple. Rm dir remove directory. Abhay. So Ava is removed. So you can see it using you know if I inside the desktop there is one file so and inside this file uh, inside the folder we don't have any files or you can see it in the in desktop also there is one folder okay so this is our directory and right now we are in desktop let's move inside this sort of directory and 
right now we want to create some files the command is touch file one so now file one is created again touch file two These two files are created okay if you want to see index two See, these two files are created. Okay. Let's see. To write something into the file, you can use a GUI editor, text editor. What I prefer is GUI, the file name. You edit something. And save it and close it okay. if you want to read something from from the file the simple command is get the file name see so you can also write from the command line using the simple command echo the double inside double quotes the thing you want to write but uh, it's okay greater than sign is to write into the file and after that the file name file2 and now if we read the file2 it's over so the single greater than sign is used to uh, override something so if I again do a myth then what is does what it does is it overwrites side server so if you want to append something just change this single greater than sign into double greater than sign now if we read the file see the changes okay so these are all about reading and writing the file okay so if you want to copy a file let's create another file and let's read this one mm, this is empty so if you want to copy file 1 to file 3 or file 2 to file 3 the command is cp for copy cp file 2 to the file you want to move like we want to copy the destination uh, file 3 okay so if you want if you read the file 3 then it's same as file 2 so this is copy then another one is move so if you want to move something the move is same as rename actually so this command is simple mb mb let's say i want to move file 3 to file 4 okay now let me read the file 4 uh, if I want to read file 3 it is not possible because we just rename it or moved it to file 4 cut and paste you know so if you read file 4 it's same as file 3 okay so these are all about copy and move so right now there are uh, three files file 1 2 and 4 if you want to remove some file the command is rm the file name file 4 now if we list of all the files see the file 4 is removed so these are all about file stuffs so another one is uh, search if you want to search something in a file the command is simple grep the phrase like if you want to search high in the file 2 file 2 the file name so see the red ones are the found match okay so this is finding the searching something certain phrase in a file and other one is difference 
so right now there are two files file 1 and file 2 if you want to find the difference between file 1 and file 2 the command is simple diff for difference diff file 1 file 1 and file 2 see these are all the differences it doesn't find any match okay let's append something in the file 1 uh, echo the same thing is now let's find the difference see oh, oh. I just uh, overread the file one contents it's I have with them so the only difference is hides okay. so these are all about those file file stuffs and if you uh, I've used many commands like echo if you want to know more about echo there are echo and cat there are many uses of cat using cat also you can rename and move files all those things so if you want to know more about this just type info and the command like cat so these are all those uh, things you can do with cat so you can always come back to your uh, screen at the terminal with control and c okay see okay then another another thing you can do like just type help and the command name like echo and it will give the manual okay that's it from me today we'll continue in the next video bye bye